nothing alike. We different. Diff you ain't the hustling type. We different. With King. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right, next match on the TLC card was the New Day defending their Raw Tag Team Championships against the Hurt Business. I said, and I will remain saying this, WWE oversaturated this match before it got started. Because every week... It was New Day vs. Hurt Business. New Day vs. Hurt Business. Cedric Alexander vs. Xavier Woods. Cedric Alexander vs. Kofi Kingston. Sean Benjamin vs. Vs. Xavier Woods. Sean Benjamin vs. Kofi King. You know, it was always, it was always a match involving them. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem with WWE. They don't have no tag teams where you can at least you can try to earn your way. You know what I'm saying? But WWE, they either don't build tag teams or they just don't have any at all. And they just break them up or just don't care about them enough to want to develop, either develop a team or to either develop a team or put or make like a tag team gauntlet or something. Help, help the Hurt Business earn their way. Why do they deserve a tag team match? That's the question I ask. Why do they deserve a tag team match? What did they do that no other team could do for them to become tag team champions? Um, for them to get a tag, tag team title shot. That's my thing. And that will remain my thing. Because you can be one half of the tag team champions. And that doesn't mean much. It doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. Because you beat 50% of a team. You didn't beat 100%. If you beat 100%, that's different. But you only beat half. Why, why does Cedric Alexander have to beat Xavier Woods for you to be convinced? He deserves it. He and his partner deserves a tag team title shot. I'm not convinced. I'm not. You just threw them in there. And I'm not going to say that her business don't deserve it because they've actually been doing their thing all year. Her business is one of the MVPs of 2020, no pun intended, to MVP. But you get my point. They, it makes sense because they've been dominant all year. So for them to get a title shot, I understand it. It makes sense. But give me a reason why they deserve it. Not because of they've been dominant. No. Let them earn it. Against another tag team. But that's the problem. You don't have tag teams where they could have earned their shot. I don't understand. Why do you keep just throwing these tag... I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But beyond that, the match itself was... was as 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 well as you expected it would be it was it was high flying all over the place they were here they were there this is big match new day as they called themselves it was a big match good match everything worked out right so I'm advancing with the end so Cedric Alexander's pinning Kofi he's going for the win then Xavier Woods breaks it up then Sean Benjamin boots King boots Kingston boots Xavier Woods in the face. Then Cedric Alexander goes for the neuralizer. Then Sean Benjamin goes for the pay dirt. Boom! Xavier's out. Pretty much out the match after that. So now Cedric Alexander is the main is uh, the legal man. He tags Shelton. Shelton Shell Kofi getting that for maybe a quick bit. Then Kofi's on the top rope. Shet, um, Shelton Benjamin goes up, hits him with an underhook suplex off the top. Now, Sean Benjamin's going for the win. He's going for the win. He's, he's setting up. He's waiting for Kofi to get him. Set him up. Then Cedric Alexander tags himself in. Now, mind you, the times that, that Cedric has done that, he became overzealous and he lost the match based on that. This time around, Cedric focused. Him, he, he got focused, wasn't overzealous, just tagged himself in, went into the match, got, got in the ring, hit the lumbar check, boom. One, two, three, and we got new tag team champions. The Hurt Business, 
have finally won the gold. Now, props to them. They deserve it. Absolutely. I appreciate it. You actually are giving new teams the belt. I appreciate it. It's all good. Now, but again, you you oversaturated this to the point where how well does the how how much weight does this hold now? They won the belts. We understand they could have won the belts. They sh they should have won the belts before. Technically, for being honest, or if you didn't want them to win the belts, then at least give them the opportunity to earn it so they could try again. They never earned it. They just keep winning these single these single matches <laughs> for them to get the shot, which makes no sense because this is not a single belt. This is a tag team belt. So this is, a, you, you get what I'm saying? So <clears throat> WWE just build more teams. Just get more teams. I don't care if you got makeshift teams. Do something. Your tag team division is trash. Who else but the New Day in her business? Who else is on Raw? I don't even know. Like, what happened to the Viking Raiders? What happened to them? <laughs> I see I see Eric. I don't see Ivar. Eric's fucking a jobber going for the 24-7 title. And I see him a, a couple times on main event. Where's his partner? What happened? Did something happen? I don't know. Like, y'all yeah, feeling me? Like, let's get more tag teams, man. Cause you know what the you know what the sad reality is? What the new day and the hurt business are gonna go at it again for the tag team championships. They're gonna go at it again. They can go. They're gonna go at it again. Why? Because you have no other tag teams. The new day are not gonna move on because you don't have no other tag teams to fight for those belts. So we're gonna see this match again. I'm done, man. It's annoying. All right. Funny thing is, we're gonna move on to another tag team match. Let's get into that one. Let's get it.